Greetings Keystone team, welcome to the November update. This is an update I've been looking forward to for a while because this gives us an opportunity to talk about the Department of Ed site visit that took place earlier this school year. Give you a little understanding of the timeline, we were notified in July that the Department of Ed would be doing site visits. We found out in August that those site visits would take place the first week in September. For those of you who are used to site visits, you know that's usually a year-long prep. We had a month. Uh, really kudos to Tisha and Annette and Mindy and so many others who pulled together all of the data that we had to present to the Department of Ed in such a short turnaround. One side benefit to the short turnaround is we had to present authentic data, the real work that you do every day for the past four or five years to the Department of Ed, but also to our stakeholders, to parents, to teachers, to administrators, superintendents of the school districts that we serve. So our outcomes are based on the real work that you do every day. And those outcomes are fantastic. Our report from the Department of Ed uh, is nothing less than straight A's across the board. There are a few uh, pieces of recommendations for improvement, but we're always looking to continuously improve. I hope you'll take the next eight or 10 minutes to watch the full video because it's such a positive report and such a good re reflection of the work that you do every day and how that impacts our 32,000 students, the teachers, the administrators, the parents who live within the Keystone footprint. It's a great report because you do great work, so please take the time and watch the following video. Each year uh, we've conducted a desk audit. It's not been as intense as the site visit um, document review, ultimately a desk audit. We had to collect items, um, ultimately documents, across seven different standards. And it was something that we had to turn around really quickly. Usually this is something that you would have, you know, a year to prepare for um, leading up to an accreditation visit. And we literally did this in a couple weeks. And thank goodness that we kind of do business as we do because it wasn't as, as a heavy lift. There are seven different standards that we had to adhere to. Uh, for this comprehensive site visit. It ranged from community uh, partnerships to equity to curriculum instruction and assessment to looking at our comprehensive improvement plan to management services, all things media and technology, and the list goes on. The desk audit gave us a wonderful opportunity to really highlight the great work that's happening at Keystone. Um, I think because of that great work, we were able to quickly pull together that information um, we didn't feel like we had to create or or generate new new information. It was a matter of pulling all of this different information together. And so just to highlight a few of the things that really we felt set us up for success, the, the website has been a wealth of information. Our folks have done a tremendous job of keeping that updated, providing lots of resources for our communities, our teachers, our, our families. Um, we also have our cross-divisional collaborative, which is um, lovingly known as the CDC, and that group has really been involved in the school improvement process at Keystone. And so the work that they've done over the past three years really set us up well um, to highlight, highlight how we continue to um, evolve over time. We also have our plan on the pages, which we really leaned into, and um, I think you're going to hear throughout this video how our core values and our goals um, are lived out by all people at Keystone. Um, our navigator structure provided a great avenue for us to be able to clearly show how we meet the needs of our schools. And um, our admin team and our collaboration, our desire to really work um, as a whole agency and not in silos, uh, that came through, I think, too, through the desk audit. And we had a lot of examples of ways that we make decisions jointly, that we are really working for the best for all students. Um, and then I think the last piece is just our, our grounding philosophy of grounded in service, and um, that made it really easy. So the, the desk audit, while it was intense, um, it was a really validating experience uh, for us as we pulled that all together to see the exciting stuff happening in Keystone. One standard that I failed to mention is diverse learners, and so that was a space that we were able to work hand in hand through, and I think kind of a beautiful illustration of how we do work as a team. Here at Keystone, we're not working on the side levels of you're over here working within special education and you're over here within instructional services and everything in between that we're trying to we're trying to work together on that. And so Diverse Learners was one of those artifacts that, well, Annette, I think you took it and the gathering of those materials 
it really was all encompassing from special education to EL to TAG and we were able to really connect that through the different divisions. Um, it was almost overwhelming to see all of the information and trying to pull that all together in a, in a digestible format. Um, and what made it really come to life was then hearing from people during the, the days of the site visit, hearing from the department, from our superintendents that were involved, uh, the, during interviews, the, the questions they would ask and, and they would actually help us highlight what was happening at Keystone, which was, was really exciting. I left humbled and proud, um, for, for lack of better words, because we have amazing people and our schools really do see us as a partner. They value our services um, and they challenge us to get better every day. And I think it's that healthy relationship that we have with our schools that makes sure that the students in Northeast Iowa get exactly what they need from us. I wish everyone did know the story of our AEA and the services that are provided. It was very humbling to know how appreciated we are as Keystone staff members. Keystone lets you know that they care about you first and then they let, let you know what they know. Yeah, it was a great day. I guess if I had one big takeaway it would be that I wish everyone could have sat in the seat that I was sitting in. Uh, I had an immense feeling of pride. Uh, pride in what we do as an organization, but also pride in all of the people that I work with. You know, most of the comments had nothing to do directly with what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, but just knowing the impact that we have on everyone's lives um, really made me proud to be part of Keystone AEA. You know, it became very obvious that their focus is on service and uh, meeting the needs of each individual district, and they all take ownership in that, and I was just so impressed with uh, level of professionalism from each staff member we talked to, uh, the commitment to service and the collaboration uh, with the districts and with each other and the different teams. I thought a big takeaway was how much of an impact the navigator structure has made um, on all of our school districts as well as our teachers. They were familiar with that. I heard it from multiple stakeholder groups. They knew that Whoever there was their contact and navigator, even if they didn't have the answer, they knew where to go for the answer. So they knew that they had this open line of communication with, with Keystone, no matter what the service was they needed to request. So I, they really appreciated that relationships, that Keystone staff really works hard to build those positive relationships with the educators, which makes them feel comfortable reaching out for support. One of the things that, that um, Keystone has just done an awesome job with that there's a trauma team and unfortunately in school leadership you come across unfortunate times those times are very emotional and you don't always know what to do they use best practice they come they tell us they advise us and that's just been invaluable uh, there's a real shared sense of leadership and uh, um, ownership of that mission statement to, to serve the districts here. I think the, what, what the Keystone staff needs to do is definitely celebrate their relationship building and, and their flexibility with rural, rural districts. That's something, and, and the level of expertise that they bring. And the, the culture that uh, they have here at the AEA is, is second to none. Well, tying back to my original comment about being proud of what we do, I did have uh, the privilege of being involved with a parent group and just hearing how many lives parents' lives, children's lives, have been changed by the services that they've received at Keystone. Um, it, was, it was really emotional for me, uh, and it will be something that I carry with me moving forward. I hope you all enjoyed that video as much as I did. I hope you saw in there, your work matters. What a powerful message to a powerful team who makes a significant difference in the lives of students and families every single day. I'm proud to work with such an amazing group of people. I'm proud to be associated with how Keystone AEA really transforms lives. I hope you have a great holiday and we'll see you all soon.